Dylan, uh, good to see you again. Uh, you look like you were very happy to be out there tonight. Can you talk about what it felt like to uh, impact the game in so many ways? Uh, it felt amazing just being out there with my teammates again. You know, I had a lot of setbacks, uh, you know, uh, physically with my knee. So it just felt amazing to be out there and competing again. Mike, go ahead. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, it clearly felt good. Uh, you had a double double first game of the season. Um, were, were, did you have a lot of nerves coming in, or were you, you know, were you uh, trying not to push it with, with the injury? Uh, what, what was that like? Uh, the the training staff uh, with Shane, he uh, literally just told me, you know, uh, I'm free. I'm free reign. I have 100 percent control of my body, so um, I shouldn't be scared. I should be confident, and he's giving me the confidence in my rehab. Uh, and nah, no nerves. I've been doing this for a minute. So this uh and plus the excitement of just playing with my with my friends, my brothers, it just overtook everything. So yeah. Tarek, go ahead. Jalen, uh, your first touch got the ball, got to the free throw line, that was good. Second touch, you get a dunk. Uh like you said, you were playing with confidence, but struggled a little from the free throw line. That, that just talk about your free throw performance and uh, obviously that's something you want to improve. Was it because maybe you were tired or just not feeling the touch tonight? Uh, no excuses for me ever. I mean, I miss free throws. I gotta, I gotta make them next time. That's as simple as that. Kari Jones. Hey, what's going on, Jalen? Great game tonight. Can you, uh, can you just talk about the energy that you all bring tonight and uh, and what keeps, what, what kept you all having them just being a cohesive unit tonight? Um, energy, that's easy. Uh, no coach should have to tell you to bring energy whenever you play. Uh, so I, I at least try to do that. You know, there's a lot of things that goes on during the game and it's hard to, you know, get to your, get to your spot, get your shot up. So the least thing, um, the easiest thing that you can do is play with energy. But um, what kept us cohesive, probably the yelling. The yelling would have to, would, would be the biggest part. Ben, go ahead. I know you were down in San Diego, so you've experienced the empty arenas, but what was that like in uh, in Pauly to, to not have the fans there and have uh, cut out a Kareem behind the basket? <laughs> it was definitely weird. It's a ghost town. Normally, uh, they pack it out. Uh, we missed it then a lot. Uh, we, were trying to, we were trying to do their job on a bench, but it's, it's just really hard. I mean, but, I mean, we got the win for them, so yeah. Tracy, go ahead. Hey, Jalen, uh, how much do you kind of like and relish when you get a switch and you get on one of those little guards and you're extended out and having to play some on-ball defense? I love it. I love it because uh, I lock up Tiger every day. So, yeah, <laughs> uh, it's, yeah he gives me good practice, but I lock him up, so I, I'm used to it. Tiger, coach mentioned that you weren't uh, feeling great, didn't practice yesterday. Can you talk about what was going on and how you pushed through it? Um, I just had a little swelling um, yesterday during practice, so they thought it was the best thing for me to do, just uh, get some rehab in yesterday and just get ready for the game today. So it's nothing serious. Uh, it was just uh, more of a maintenance thing. Mike, go ahead. Hey, Tiger, how you doing? Um, hey. First two games a little tough. This one came you know, a little bit easier, but you guys dominated a little bit. Um, you specifically had 17 points, eight for eight from the free throw line. How'd you feel shooting in this contest? Uh, how, how's that been uh, progressing? Oh, good. Uh, my, my shot feels good. Um, I'm confident with it. So um, I just know my teams, when my team drives, I got to be ready to shoot. Uh, they, a lot of teams like to go under or play off me. So I got to, you know, be more of a, a ready to score. And um, yeah, I, I feel good. I feel 100%. Other questions for Tiger? Okay. Kari, go ahead. What's going on, Tiger? Can you talk about you all's uh, communication and then just, just the leadership that you bring to the team? Coach, kind of talk about what you bring to the table. Can you talk about just what you, you know, bring to the UCLA program? I just try to be an extension of Coach Cronin. Um, I know that he, uh, at least I think, I know he trusts me and, um, I know that when I'm out there, that's my job is to keep everybody involved in the game and to keep everybody together. And um, I just like to be an extension of my coach on the court, regardless 
of all four of my of all four coaches. Just whatever they tell me, relay it to my team, and just make sure everybody's ready to go and ready to play. Ben, go ahead. Just two quick things. Uh, just following up on that uh, swelling, was that in the area where the ACL uh, was? And also, can you talk about Jalen Hill's return and his impact? Um. Yeah, it was in the uh, the area that I had my surgery. And um, it was great having Jay back. You know, that's my, one of my good friends. It's good to be back on the court with him. He's been practicing hard. He's been working hard with uh, our trainer, Shane, just trying to get his body better and uh, make sure he's 100%. And uh, it was just good being out there with him today. And, you know, he's, uh, he's crazy on the glass and I could throw it up to him. So it really opened up some more stuff for us today.